The Bank of Industry BOI is Nigeria's oldest, largest, and most successful development financing institution. BOI's current authorized share capital is 250 billion naira. Its major shareholders are the Ministry of Finance Incorporated, Central Bank of Nigeria, as well as private institutional and individual investors. The bank's core mandate is the provision of financial assistance for the establishment of small, medium and large enterprises, as well as for the expansion, diversification and modernization of existing enterprises and rehabilitation of ailing industries. BOI's vision is to be Africa's leading development finance institution, operating under global best practices. While its mission is to transform Nigeria's industrial sector by providing financial and business support services to enterprises, the bank's operations are driven by the following core values. Service, professionalism, passion, integrity, resourcefulness, innovation, and team spirit. The Bank of Industry's operations have been aligned with Nigeria's economic agenda under which the government is determined to increase the contribution of the manufacturing sector to Nigeria's gross domestic products from 6.8% in 2014 to double digits by 2020, with the micro, small and medium enterprises sector playing significant roles. Accordingly, the Bank of Industry has embarked on a number of innovative steps to deepen its credit delivery process and enhance the access of MSMEs to financial services. Since poor packaging of loan applications and lack of access to working capital have been identified as two of the major challenges facing MSMEs, BOI, in a competitive process, appointed 122 Business Development Service Providers, BDSPs, to assist MSMEs with the preparation of bankable business plans and also provide them with post-disbursement services such as mentoring and capacity building that would ensure proper utilization of loans and their repayment. In continuation of its drive towards building an ecosystem for MSMEs in Nigeria, the Bank of Industry also went into partnership with some SME-friendly commercial banks that are to provide MSMEs assisted by OI with working capital at negotiated interest rates. Another bold initiative embarked upon by the Bank of Industry towards fulfilling its developmental mandate is the creation of a 5 billion naira cottage agro-processing fund, CAP fund. This is designed to address the challenge of post-harvest losses by financing the establishment of cottage agro-processing plants that produce food products and other intermediate products for industries. A minimum of 20,000 direct and indirect jobs are expected to be created under the first phase of the scheme. Under the new dispensation, the bank is set to increase its exposure to SMEs from its present level of less than 10% to 30% over the next three to five years. We handle transactions that fall between 5 million naira and 500 million naira. Those above 500 million naira are processed by the Light Enterprises Directorate, while those below 5 million naira are handled under the bottom of the pyramid scheme, under which we own lend to microfinance banks because they have specialized skills for handling micro enterprises. We also lend below 5 million naira under managed fund arrangement with some of our development partners, particularly state governments. The Bank of Industry is uh, one of our local funding partners. We benefited from two of their wholesale funding schemes, uh, one of which is the bottom of the pyramid uh, scheme. This scheme, in my opinion, as somebody who does microfinance, probably is the most impactful fund uh, out there for microfinance at the moment. In fact, what makes it even further more fantastic is the fact that it's a fund targeted at what you call the economically active poor. A lot of customers have benefited. Um, about 686 beneficiaries have accessed um, this same uh, BOP fund. So well over 2,000 jobs have been um, created with the, the access to this uh, funding. I think it's a laudable initiative. I think BOI should be commended for this, uh, this great initiative. Before I got the support from the Bank of Industry, I think I had we were three. And after that, we, are, we have um, our staff strength has grown to 11. Without BOI, 
I could have been employed, employed by with two people or thereabouts. Uh, and I maybe have three or four workers. But now I have many of them. So without BOI, many people that are benefiting, uh, benefiting from us, we could have not. The Large Enterprises Directorate that is mandated to implement NIRP comprises the following business groups. Agro-processing, solid minerals and metals, gas, energy and petroleum, as well as engineering, ICT and construction, creative industry and gender business. The bank's two business directorates actively support commodities-based projects that utilize local raw materials with extensive value chains and ventures that have high employment and export generating potentials, as well as those that promote linkages between micro, small, medium and large enterprises and those sponsored by women. In order to facilitate the delivery of its mandate and make the required impact on Nigeria's industrialization drive, the Bank of Industry has continued to deepen its collaboration with relevant domestic and foreign development partners. We like working with the government-sponsored financial service institutions because they have the voice of the country and, and they really have the ability to work to the broadest possible constituency and we think that's important in Nigeria. And domestically, BOI has been engaging research institutes and centers of innovation. Based on its highly impressive performance, BOI has continued to attract funding from the public and private sectors, as well as the international development community. Consequently, the bank has been appointed to manage more than 30 special intervention funds. They include two on behalf of the Central Bank of Nigeria, the 300 billion Naira Power and Aviation Intervention Fund, as well as the 235 billion Naira refinancing and restructuring facility for manufacturing firms. The other major funds under BOI's management include the National Automotive Councils Fund, in respect of which BOI received 18.1 billion Naira, the 13.6 billion Naira Rice and Cassava Processing Fund, as well as the 4.3 billion Naira Cassava Bread Fund being managed on behalf of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development under the Agri Transformation Agenda. BOI also manages micro, small and medium enterprises development funds totaling 11.2 billion Naira for 17 state governments. Let me at this juncture again thank the Board and Management of Bank of Industry for their commitment to industrialization not only in Nondo State but in Nigeria. And from the private sector, BOI's partnership with Dangote Foundation, under which a 10 billion Naira Small Business Development Fund was established, marked the first legacy fund to be managed by the bank. You can actually go out there and you can borrow money as an SME, either alone or in group. And uh, you, once you meet up with the uh, conditions, you'll be able to get money at 5%. Over a period of 14 years, the bank witnessed unprecedented expansion in its credit operations without compromising the quality of its risk assets and posted impressive financial returns. While not much was achieved within the first nine years, as loans totaling 114.3 billion naira were approved, the cumulative value of loans, however, rose sharply to 823 billion naira between 2010 and 2014. In spite of its rapid growth, the bank is quite healthy and has continued to wax stronger. For instance, the ratio of its non-performing loans have consistently remained at single digit. This has been attributed to BOI's robust enterprise-wide risk management framework. We try to identify what the risks are. We take the measurements. We also evaluate the impacts on our visions and mandates. Then, we, if it's something that is within our risk appetite as a bank, we take it. If it's outside our risk appetite, we reject. And not only that, for customers that are able, they have the resources to pay us, but they're unwilling to pay us because possibly they thought that 
just low from back of industry is a, it's part of their national cake. Uh, we have a way of addressing them, and that has we have sent strong, uh, you know, uh, warning to them that you know this money is a loan, and they have to pay it back. More than 4,000 beneficiaries from various sectors of the manufacturing industry make up BOI's rising clientele. The development effectiveness of BOI's operations have been remarkable, as more than 1.8 million cumulative jobs were created over the period. In addition to employment generation, projects financed by BOI in the pharmaceutical industry and the power sectors also had considerable development impact. The new and existing power projects financed under the Power and Aviation Intervention Fund now contribute 838.8 megawatts to the nation's total power generation, which is about 25% of the total output. Three of the pharmaceutical firms financed by BOI have been integrated into the global drug supply chain sequel to their upgrade with BOI's support to attain the World Health Organization WHO's Good Manufacturing Practice, GMP, certification. The certification has enabled the drug firms to produce international drugs and allows them to participate in international drug supply bidding exercises sponsored by global development institutions. Thus, BOI has been able to effectively integrate Nigeria's pharmaceutical industry into the global drug distribution value chain in line with the bank's mission. The base of the bank's customers attribute their fortunes to the strong support they receive from BOI. Support in its entirety is what they give. My relationship with Bank of Industry has been very cordial. When they saw my submission in terms of Mitri and what we are presently doing in the past, they were highly impressed. They said this is a scheme they need to fund and they supported us so much. Bank of Industry have not just given us money and say pay us back, but they've given us money and they've stayed with us all through. They are the only bank, I would say, today uh, support the industry at a very uh, economical end. When I approached them for a loan, they didn't know me and I, I, I didn't know anybody there. The moment I had all the, everything they wanted, or the moment I met all the criteria, my loan was granted. Before the decision, this company had been, had been going on a lot of trading. And uh, when the intervention came, it increasing our capacity from 40% to 70%. And it making our company to be having a steady, a steady, smooth operation. We don't know how to appreciate what the bank has done to us, really. The bank has has really helped us uh, when it comes, especially funding our plant and machinery. Uh, the bank has always been there and so far so good, you know, they, we've had a very mutual uh, relationship with them. My most bank of industry, I cannot grow. With this, this, uh, this uh, is uh, giving us money easily makes the factories to grow, and I will never disappoint them. In this regard, it is striving at global best practices. Accordingly, BOI is implementing a corporate transformation project that is designed to strengthen the institution. This has entailed building the institution's capacity by embarking on frequent training and retraining programs. One of the most remarkable features of the Bank of Industry's corporate transformation is the overhaul of its information technology system to enhance the automation of its operation and retention of the very high confidence that BOI enjoys within the domestic and foreign development communities as well as the national and international financial system.